Hey everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can install or set up a Minecraft 1.17 server but now on a Mac OS. So I made a tutorial for Windows a few days ago and it's time for the Mac OS one. So let's get started. First of all you obviously need Minecraft installed on your computer so you can try this out and also get the other requirements. So I just pasted them in this notepad. So the first thing what you're gonna need to have is Java. But why do you need Java? Well Java is a programming language and in order to learn Java applications, which a Minecraft server server is a Java application, you need a Java environment on your computer. So you have to choose, as you can see it already selected the macOS version for me. Uh, so it just finished the downloading, but if it did not, you can see it's uh, here is the COL Java downloads and scroll the way down here and here is the Mac OS version. Just click on it and grab this file. If it's downloaded, you can just open it. and double click on this Java update and there is a version number here and click on open as you can see we are welcome to Java and etc etc and click on the install button you need to verify yourself and it should be installed in a couple of seconds now it's done so Java 8 is fine but for microphone.17 we also need Java 16, which is required. So I will put this link in the description too. So you can just go to this website. As you can see, it's Java Development Kit. So scroll all the way down here and find the macOS installer here. So just click on it. It's a huge file. It's 160 megabytes. It might take a few seconds or a minute to download it. If it's done, just click on this. And the installation process is the same what we did with Java 8. So as you can see it open, you double click on this, click on continue, install, you verify yourself. And it should be done in a few seconds also. So make sure to do this without Java 8 and Java 16, you cannot really set up the Minecraft server. So next thing what we are gonna do is get the Minecraft server software. So go to the Minecraft website, which is minecraft.net, and scroll all the way down here until you find the 1.17 changelog. I will also put this article in the description. So I guess... No, not this one. And... Well... Yes, this is the correct one. So scroll all the way down here. Uh, well... This is a huge article, and as you can see, there is a green text which says Minecraft Server Jar. So click on it and save it to location. I will choose the Documents folder right now, with, <laughs> because it's empty. Anyway, so make sure to save this, and now you can close this browser window. Alright, now open the Finder and go to the location where you save this file. So in my case, it is in, in the documents folder. As you can see, server Jile and this coffee mug is the icon because it is the icon of Java. And create a new folder for it. So for example, you can use any name, it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna use the server and put this jar into this folder, all right. Now go to this folder and as you can see, it's here. Let's say we are gonna open our terminal window. So find the terminal in the applications. And as you can see, it's a really small window. So with the command and the plus key, you can uh, make it a little bit bigger. It's better now, I guess. So we need to familiarize ourselves with a few comments. So the first thing is CD which means change directory or change folder so if i type and well obviously there is no folders here yep there are 
so for example C C D documents uh, and I press enter I am now in the documents folder and something is not right here because the operation is not permitted all right so we can continue but all right we'll gonna solve this so go to the settings security and privacy and I think files and folders yes yes so do this first to so basically go to the settings security and privacy go to the files and folders and choose the documents folder here all right now let's talk about the comments again so as i told you cd stands for stands for change directory so i can type cd documents and if i press the tab button it will write the whole file name here or the folder name here so I am now in the documents folder and if I press LS I can see the server folder here what we just created so as you can see it's here so LS and we want to go to this folder into this folder so change directory or CD and server and if I press LS again as you can see the server.jar is here all right now it's pretty cool actually so what I'm gonna do is start it for the first time so only just type here Java and server dot jar and press enter all right it didn't really work so I'm just gonna yes it is going to work so use this command Java and this jar tag here then the server dot jar it is the file name so uh, yes it is working all right now as you can see fail to load ela.txt so go back to this folder double click on the eula.txt and change this false value to true then make sure to save this file this is it just change the false to true close this file all right now we are going to need to do the same command and to do it use the up arrow key so as you can see if I press it it will load the previous command or the previous comments but I only need the only previous one so press enter here and as you guys can see here it will start generating the word all right if it says it's done and as you can see it's done basically you have to write stop here so it will stop we need to do a little bit more configuration all right so don't close this terminal window we are going to use it again so as you guys can see it generates a bunch of files here here's the server word and also a bunch of other config files but we only need the server.properties file here. I guess I can open it with text edit. Yes. So just make this window bigger a little bit. So I'm not going through all of these. Basically, all of these are self explanatory. I mean, the game mode. The one thing that I should mention here is the online mode, which means if it's true. Every time a player join your server, they need to authenticate with the Mojang servers. So if you all have, or if you all play with the original Minecraft, you need to leave it on true. But if you are playing with the launcher or any other launchers, change this to false. So it will skip the authentication and you can play without the original game. Alright, if you modify anything in this, Mm, you need to save this file obviously if you did not just leave it in there let's create a run.comment file but how do we do it well 
I will leave a simple comment in the description. For most of you, you don't need to change anything in it. So just copy it and open another, another text edit window here. Well, I need a new one. I want a new one. All right. And what you're going to need to do is go to this format button and click on make plain text. It's really important. So make sure to use plain text format. Otherwise, it is not going to work. So paste this sample comment here. So what you need to be sure about is basically it is going to run a java application this is the ram size which is two gigabytes here and also the jar tag what i used before and this is the file name which is server.jar if it's the same for you so it's server.jar you can leave it and no gui which means it's not going to open that other window in the first start of the server all right now let's save this file, click on save, and the file name should be run.command. So make sure that the extension is provided, otherwise it's going to use txt format, which is not going to work. So the run part doesn't matter, just make sure that the extension is .command. That's it. Now click on save, and make sure that the location is correct, which isn't correct in my case. So make sure to save this into the server's folder. All right, now save it, and as you can see, it is here. Now go back to the terminal window again, and as you can see, we are still in the same server folder. And here is the well, run.common file. But we cannot just start it yet, so we need to make it executable first. How do we do it? Well, it's pretty simple. You have to, you only have to do this once, so chmod plus x then run.command run this command as you can see chmod plus x run.command that's it run it once and it is now done i don't think that we are going to need to use this anymore so if i double click on this run.command file I think the server is starting. Alright, now it's done. So we can try it out. Alright, so open Minecraft. Open the version 1.7 till click on play and wait until it starts. Alright, now you can click on multiplayer and for the server address you can use localhost and it should work. It's pinging. It should be up. Well, yeah, it is working. I'm just going to quickly join this world. And as you can see, it's working. Alright, now I can join. This is cool. I'm just going to quit it because the GPU fan is insane and I can't hear myself. Alright, now let's talk about how to host it to other people. What I'm going to use now is an easier way. So ngrock is what we are going to use. So it is ngrock.com and also yeah, I don't care about this notification. I don't care. Alright, now we are going to use this piece of software to host our Minecraft server. So sign up for this website first. Just use a uh, throwaway name for the email address you can just search for temp email and use a temporary email address for example I'm using this site now just put it in here and create a password I think the password this wasn't great at the last time I created it so yeah and I'm not a robot yeah, I have to choose bicycles. There are no bicycles in this picture. Yeah, traffic lights, whatever. All right, let's click on sign up. All right, so no, I don't save it. All right, so uh, yes, we need to confirm our email address. Now, click on the download macOS button. 
and save it to the documents folder it's gonna be fine all right now go back to the documents folder here and unzip this file so all right so we got this ngrock file and we need to put it back into the server folder so make sure that it is in the Minecraft servers folder after some time I figured it out how to actually run this piece of software it's a little bit different <laughs> what I expected anyways so yes we need to go back to the terminal and use the cd command to go to the documents folder then use the cd server command to be here in this folder and as you can see ngrock is here so what you're going to need to do is use the chmod plus x ngrock command again what we did with the run.comment file it's exactly the same but just the file name is different and dot slash ngrock and it is finally working all right so let's copy this out token file uh, so dot slash ngrock out token and a bunch of characters here click enter and as you can see out token save to configuration file now final thing that you're gonna need to do is slash dot slash ngrock ngrock tcp25565 all right so ngrock tcp25565 And now uh, you got this address here and you can send this to anyone who wants to play on your server and they should be able to connect to it. I did test it in the Windows tutorial, you can watch it if you want, but it doesn't matter, it should work, so that's it. I hope you guys that this video wasn't really confusing. Thanks for watching and see you soon, bye bye.